the supernatural transformation caused by the Holy Eucharist. The sacrament of the Holy Eucharist causes a supernatural transformation of the soul that is invisible to us because of our limited nature, just as invisible as God is, and yet as powerful and divine as God himself. It is the great gift of God the Father that having become human in Jesus Christ his Son, wanted to save all humanity by making us part of his body, wanted to save all humanity by making us part of him in his human and divine essence. The greatest miracle that Jesus performed during his life was to recreate himself in every consecrated host when he consecrated the bread and the wine at the Last Supper and instituted the priesthood so that his sacred humanity and his divinity could be shared with all human beings in every consecrated host until the end of time. In holy baptism, Christ forgives us our original sin that we inherited from our first parents, and he integrates us in the body of Christ. This makes us enter into his kingdom, but our essential nature continues to make us sin. This is why God provided the other sacraments, confession of our sins and others. And then, by his grace, we are also allowed to eat and drink his precious body and blood, transforming us into children of God and purifying us from all our sinfulness in order to be made worthy to enter eternal life in him. The Holy Eucharist doesn't free us from sin, but gives us the sanctifying grace to be strong when dealing with the temptations of the flesh, the world, and the devil. If we live a life away from sin, the Holy Eucharist begins a transformation of the soul in such a way that it becomes part of the divinity of Christ by the divine grace that we receive. That holy transformation inclines the soul to grow in virtue, to abhor sin, to adore God and surrender totally to Him. The visible effects of the Holy Eucharist will be a change in our humanity, walking humbly in the presence of God and practicing justice and divine mercy. The Holy Eucharist gives us the grace to receive the divine light of our faith, to grow in fervent prayer, and begins the descent of the divinity to our souls, infusing the gifts of the Holy Spirit. The soul will grow in many virtues, humility, innocence, purity, modesty, patience, silence, meekness, charity, and others. It will experience the gifts of wisdom, understanding, knowledge, fortitude, counsel, piety, the divine science, and holy fear of God. The total transformation of the soul is the action of the grace of God that makes us holy. In order to get the full effects of the Holy Eucharist in our souls, we must prepare ourselves adequately to receive it. We must hunger and thirst for it, and we must pray that we may be worthy to receive our Lord in our hearts. Thank you.